tomorrow's the big day. The S14.5 is going to get tuned. So what we have to do today is we're going to complete the boost leak testing that I started earlier. Uh, if you guys have been watching us on Instagram and some other social media, you guys saw that there was a bunch of boost leaks in this car. Uh, we just put in the new fuel rail and injectors with top feed uh, radium engineering fuel rail. Injector Dynamics 10, 50 cc injectors. Um, that stopped all the leaking from the other side mount injectors that we had in there. Uh, besides that, pretty much all the boost leaks are gone. I do have two couplers that I want to uh, redo with new ones on the intercooler piping just because I don't trust them. Um, and floor piping is something that it's so easy to make sure that nothing, that no air leaks there. So we're just going to do that real quick. So I have the car up. Gonna get underneath, do two couplers that are on the side of the intercoolers, and then we're gonna do uh, final boost leaks, get any other small boost leaks that we can find. And besides that, she's ready to go tomorrow. So the first coupler we're gonna be doing is right here on the passenger side of the S14. Um, the clamp that was on there, I uh, didn't like too much, and uh, decided to uh, maybe break it a little bit. So. We got two new three inch clamps uh, from Boost Labs here in Tampa, which are awesome guys, by the way. Um, so we're just going to throw these on there and uh, hopefully they seal like they should. So this is the new clamp that we just put on. Uh, this is the intercooler. This way, if you can't really tell, I know the angle is really hard to see under here. This is the 90 degree coupler, another clamp, and then the intercooler piping that goes up towards the uh, intake manifold up, up there. So we just threw this clamp on. Um, one thing that the guys at Boost Lab reminded me is to throw a little bit of oil onto the threads if you want your clamp to last a long time, because you don't do that. It might take a while. So So the way I do clamps just cuz I'm terrified of of messing something up. Uh I basically use my electric impact just to kind of go on enough and then I switch over if I can, with one hand, I switch over to a manual and uh, do the torque myself just because I like knowing exactly how much torque I'm putting on there. And... Alright guys, so we just did the couplers on the intercooler piping. Those should be good to go. So we're going to do another boost leak test. Make sure all the small little boost leaks are good to go. And after that, we'll fix anything that we find. But then she is good to go. As you guys can see here, I have a homemade boost leak tester uh, that I made with simple parts just from Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that. If you guys want to see how I made that, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video specifically on one, how to do a boost leak test, and two, how to make your own boost leak test that costs, I think this one cost me about five bucks altogether. Uh, so other than that, we're going to do a boost leak test, make sure everything's good to go, and then we're going to get her ready to get on the trailer and go get tuned. Let's see what she does. Alright guys, so here is the final setup for the tune tomorrow. As you can see, I got the boost leak tester off the car. Uh, found a couple small ones, fixed those real quick, and now we're good to go. So now you see the turbo guard back on the turbo. If you guys follow me well enough and closely enough, you guys will notice that is Jasmine's turbo guard, mainly because uh, Jasmine is down right now, and I have a forward-facing turbo on this car, and I just haven't ordered one from Turbo Guard yet. So if Turbo Guard sees this and wants to send me one, that'd be greatly appreciated. However, I'm not sponsored by Turbo Guard or have any affiliation with them. However, I love their stuff, and if you have a forward-facing turbo, I highly recommend the Turbo Guard. Uh, keeps everything out of the engine bay and it looks super clean. I'm sorry, takes it keeps everything out of the turbo and looks super clean. Hey guys, so it is uh, the next day. It's crazy how time flies like that when you're on a video. But uh, we are headed over to Z Fever here in Tampa to get the S14.5 tuned. It's a little early in the morning. It's 
really hot and humid because it's been raining here like crazy. So uh, I'm already sweating. But I'm going to go grab some food real quick because I'm starving. And then we're going to head over and uh, hopefully this thing holds together and puts down some numbers that I can handle. All right, guys. See you in a second. I am really excited to see what the car does. I was flirting with the idea of putting her on E85. However, I'm not gonna do that right now, mainly just because we just did the new parts. I still don't trust the motor and the entire car just because I didn't build it, it was the previous owners. So I'm still getting used to the car. Other than that though, I'm excited. I'm excited to get the car back and running. The car, even when it was running, when the first couple weeks I had it, it just wasn't running quite right. Uh, it was supposed to, it was uh, allegedly making 420 horsepower and it felt like 280. It was fun, but it, it needed some love. So, gave it some love. I still got to fix the rack and paint on it. Uh, it's leaking very little. It still works. Uh, however, it's just really hard to find an S14 rack and painting somehow. Other than that, guys, let's get there and uh, let's see, uh, let's see her do some pulls on the dyno. So, um, sorry I didn't get any video of me loading the car up on the back on the trailer or really finishing the dyno. Like, it's starting to rain a little bit, so I wanted to just get it loaded, get the car home, because as you guys saw, there is no hood on the car right now because the hood is currently on the S15, which is currently over in Orlando with Adam LZ. Uh, let him borrow the S15 so he can make a mold of the roof or his carbon fiber roof for his S15. So, the car's still over there, has the hood, and me driving with it on, on the trailer with an exposed turbo, not good if it rains. So, I'm on my way home right now, get the car back in the garage. Now, what happened on the dyno? The car was absolutely healthy, the motor was good, actually everything really performed better than how I thought it was going to. Um, of course, I'm a little scared when it's not my build, however, a little bit in tuning we started realizing that the fuel pressure was dropping dramatically when we started going into boost so it looks like either the fuel pump may be going bad uh, the wiring it could have a bad ground it also looks like the dash 6 fuel lines that are up in the engine bay do not go all the way back to the gas tank so those are the kind of things you roll the dice on when you buy a, an already built car Nothing too crazy. Uh, the plan is to just redo the fuel system. You guys know I just threw in the fuel rail and the injectors. So everything up in the engine bay is, is good to go and, and ready for more. So I'm just going to run new lines, new fittings, wire, uh, another fuel pump, change fuel filter. Just make sure everything is good to go and do it my way. So then we will go back to tuning and it looks like we're going to go on E85 next time. I was scared because of not knowing the build, but seeing how it performed today, even though we didn't get to fully tune it, stuff like that, it made me feel better, so I think we're gonna go E85. 
So we should be seeing some good power out of this thing next time. It shouldn't take me long. Stay tuned on my Instagram and you'll see all the updates, all the parts that I order, how I do things, stuff like that. And we'll take it back and we'll see what she does. But, so sad day that the car didn't get fully tuned. However, I am very happy that she behaved mostly pretty well. So I'm happy, the car's happy. I'm able to pull it in and out of the, the garage now, but right now she has the garage until the S15 comes home. So she's getting spoiled a little bit and it'll give me time to work in the garage getting the fuel set up uh, on point. So with that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry you guys didn't get to see the full tune. However, be sure to subscribe, share, comment, and hit that notification button so that next time when I take it to go get tuned, you guys will see the video pop up and you guys will be able to watch the full thing. And most likely after the tune, we're gonna go have some fun out in the streets. So don't miss it. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, it's Modest Racing, YouTube, Facebook, all of that jazz. You can also go to modesttechracing.com. And don't forget, we are a parts distributor, so if you need anything for your car, let us know. We're gonna get the best price for you. And 5% 5% of all of our profits goes to a, a charity, either supporting uh, wounded veterans, homeless children and needy children or animals that uh, need some love uh, and, and kill shelters and stuff like that. So know that one, you're getting good prices on quality parts, but you're also giving back at the same time. So stay tuned guys. Thank you guys so much for all the continued support and hopefully we'll get this car 100% here very shortly. All right guys, have a good one. Bye.